Hi, this is Kate from Pawson Media. Today I want to show you this really cool uh, scheduling tool called Meet Edgar. And what's actually different about Meet Edgar is that it actually reuses your social media posts. So you don't just post them once and that's it, you're done with them. It keeps recycling them. And I think that's really important. And as far as I know, this is one of the only uh, tools that actually allows you to do this, to load your content into the site and then it automatically keep recycling it. Now, one thing you do have to be careful is that you do have enough content in there so people aren't saying, uh, seeing the same social media posts all the time and that you're not overdoing it. Just because you know, you're know you automating it doesn't mean that you want to bombard people with social media all of the time. It still needs to be done strategically. But I think if you keep that in mind, I think this can be a great tool to allow you to do that. Now, Meet Edgar does require that you go ahead and request an invitation. I remember doing this, oh, way back at the beginning of last year, I think it was, when they launched. Anyway, whenever they, whenever they launched, and it, it took, oh, a day maybe, to get that invitation request granted. Um, then you'll go ahead, get your login details. So I'm just going to go ahead here and just log in and show you a little bit about how it works. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're actually going to connect the accounts that you have. And what this will be is it'll actually be um, like your Facebook accounts, um, your Twitter account. You can also uh, connect a LinkedIn account. There's, there's no Google Plus at the moment. Uh, if you wanted to use that, there's, there's other ways to do that. And it doesn't connect to Pinterest or anything like that. So it's really a Facebook and Twitter. So you go ahead and you actually connect account. So you just click on to connect an account and it steps you through the process. The next thing you want to do then is set up your categories. So these are types of posts. So you'll see here, like I have ones where I had a whole bunch of Christmas blogs. I've got ones where I'm promoting my ebook. I had some Christmas uh, ads, promotional ads running. Um, I've got some pictures and funny pictures, quotes, all those types of things, blog posts, product blogs. You know, so categorize them into different groups, I suppose, of the types of posts that you're gonna have. So once you've set those up, the next thing to do is actually to add some content to the library. Um, and you just do that by clicking on add new content. And here you select which account you want to post it to. So say I wanted to put something on my uh, Pet Sitters Island Facebook account, and I'm going to do a blog post. I'd write in my text here. Um, it automatically, actually, let me just show you here. Let's just get a quickly get a blog post up just so that I can show you how it pulls through um, pretty much like you do when you post on Facebook or anything like that. It pulls through the actual details um, of your blog. So we put the, the link in there and what it does now, it'll actually fetch the information from the site um, and actually pull through the images and the text. So, uh, oh, let's just make sure. Yep, we have that selected. So you need to make sure you've selected the Facebook um, account before so that it knows that it's actually going to be pulling a picture through because obviously on Twitter it doesn't do that. So that's just loading up now. So you'll see it drags through the title and the description um, and it drags through pictures from the page. So obviously these aren't the pictures that we want. Let's find the one for this blog. And it's always the last one you're looking for. Okay, so here's we have a little cute picture with the, the text over. Um, I can actually then go in and just write my, my status update here, you know, whatever it is that I want to say about this post. So that's basically what you do. You load in the content. Um, just be aware if you click Facebook and Twitter at the same time, it won't let you pull through the picture. So you need to do Facebook separately and then do Twitter. And, and you'd want to do that anyway because they're two different platforms, um, two different styles of posts. You know, your tweets want to be short with some hashtags. Um, your Facebook post can be a little bit longer. So um, you basically load all that content. And it is a little bit of a job in the beginning, um, but it's worth spending the time. And like I say, you want to have, make sure you have enough content in there so people aren't seeing the same thing all of the time. And then the very last thing you want to do is you want to set up a schedule. And this is really easy. You're just basically going into your account and you're just telling it what time to post stuff and what type of post. So you'll see here from my Pet Sitters Island page, um, you know, all the different times that stuff is gonna go out on a weekly basis. Don't overload it, people don't want to see too much and you still wanna make time for your live posts, ones where you're interacting, you know, maybe you're posting a current news story. So I hope that just gives you a real quick rundown of what Edgar can do. Um, I'll be putting this up on YouTube and the blog, so you're about to have a really good read. All right, thanks for listening, take care now.